Hello friends. In this category of uh, details of inflows, we'll today discuss about racemos type of inflows. As discussed earlier, inflows uh, we can define as an excess bearing flower in a particular fashion is called inflows. In that, we, uh, in the illustration, we have seen there are three type of inflows: racemos, cymos, and mixed type. Today we'll uh, deal with the details of racemos type of inflows. <clears throat> As you know, the racemos type inflows the terminal buds continues to grow, and the main axis has the different uh, flower growing area. Uh, the first type of uh, racemos inflows is the raceme type. In the racemos type inflows, the common example is lupin plant i'll show you the structure of the racemic type of inflorescence the terminal buds in the racemos type keeps on growing and the lateral bud has the flower this structure of racemic type and in the case of racemos the flowers are arranged in a acropetal succession that means the older flower are at the base these are older flowers and the younger flowers are at the top or at the tip so these are the this is called acropetal succession in the case of racemos inflorescence the second type of uh, racemos inflorescence is the panicle type in this type of inflorescence uh, uh, the uh, main common example is uh, grass so we have the following structure in the pan in the panicle type of inflorescence is the main shoot then we have a lateral these are the flowers so this is the panicle type of racemos inflorescence so the third type is the spike type <coughs> and this is the common example is plantain this is a spike type of inflorescence the flowers are sessile so this is the spike type of the cymos inflorescence the fourth one is spatex spatex type the main example is anthrim plant and we have the shape like this this is a spathe and in between this spathe we have this bright colored spadex this may have different colors this is spadex spadex and the spathe So this is the spatex type of uh, racemos inflorescence. Then we have catkin type. Catkin type is mostly found in uh, mulberry. So this is a mulberry shoot. And this is the flower bearing axis. We have the older flower at the base.
and small younger flower at the tip. So this is commonly found in mulberry. The sixth one is calm type. The calm type. This uh, this type of uh, inflorescence uh, is mostly found in uh, candy tuff. The example of this is candy tuff. So if you remember with examples, it will be very easy in your examination also to draw the structure and the example. This will help you to memorize the different types. In the candy tuff, we have a structure like this. This is the main shoot. This is the way the, flower, the older and younger flower are distributed. So this is mostly found in candy tuff. This is a calm type of influ uh, influence. Then the last two type of we have last two type of racemos influence we have humble type. Humble is still divided into two: simple humble and compound. Humble type and compound. I'll show the structure of this both type of uh, influence. In the humble type, we have the common example of hogweed. And the structure goes like this. This is the flower one, then we have flower two, three, four. Five, six, one, two. This is the way the um, flower bearing takes place in humble type. The same way we have compound humble type. The compound humble type we have we again have double ample here. So this is a compound type of humble racemos inflorescence. The last one is the capitulum type. The capitulum type of inflorescence is mostly a uh, common example is the daisy plant. This is a common example and the structure is uh, like this is the thalamus part of the flower, the base. And then we have flowers situated on top of this. So this is one, you have one here, then you have two, two, three, three, four, four, and five, five. So this is the older one, then the younger one is inside. So this is structure for capitulum type. So these are the eight type of uh, racemos inflorescence and uh, with different structures. We have the seam type, panicle type, spike, then we have spadex type, catkin, comb, and umbel. Umbel is further divided into uh, umbel and compound umbel. Then we have capitulin type. These are the few examples of uh, racemos inflorescence. 
in the next session we will uh, discuss more about inflorescence and uh, that is uh, cymose type and uh, mixed type of inflorescence thank you